गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस सो फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द डेफिनेशंस ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलीनोमियल क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन एंड स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ ए क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन एंड सॉल्यूशन ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस सो फर्स्ट कमिंग टू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलीनोमियल ए पॉलीनोमियल हुज डिग्री इज टू इज known as a quadratic polynomial it is in the form of p of x is equals to ax square plus bx plus c where a not equals to 0 so what is the meaning of degree here the highest power of the variable present in the polynomial already we have learned the definition of degree in the previous classes so now we learn that a polynomial whose degree is 2 is known as a quadratic polynomial now next we go to the definition of quadratic equation so we have learned the quadratic polynomial here it will be in the form of p of x is equals to ax square plus bx plus c so when we equate this quadratic polynomial to zero then it becomes a quadratic equation so we write p of x is equals to zero then it is known as a quadratic equation now we go for the standard form of a quadratic equation the standard form of a quadratic equation will be in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 where a comma b comma c are real numbers and a not equals to 0 here a and b are coefficients of x square and x respectively and c is a constant term now solution of a quadratic equation by factorization a real number x is called a root of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 if a alpha square plus b alpha plus c is equals to 0 means in the place of x we have substituted alpha so that the equation a alpha square plus b alpha plus c value is equals to 0 then we say that x is equals to alpha is a solution of quadratic equation note the zeros of the quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c and the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 are the same roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 can be found by factorizing the polynomial into two linear factors and equating each factor to 0 so we learn how to find the roots of a quadratic equation by factorization method here so now we are going for one example find the roots of x square minus 3x plus 2 is equals to 0 in factorization method given equation is x square minus 3x plus 2 is equals to 0 so now we compare the given equation with ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 we get a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 3 and c is equals to 2 here the product of a and c is 1 into 2 is equals to 2 factors of 2 are 2 and 1 as the value of b is minus 3 this minus 3 can be splitted as with the help of the factors of 2 Minus two minus one. Now the equation can be written as x square minus two x minus x plus two is equals to zero. By taking x as common from the first two terms, we get x of x minus two, and minus one common from the next two terms, we get minus one of x minus two is equals to zero. now from the equation as x minus 2 is common we write x minus 1 of x minus 2 is equals to 0 now we write x minus 1 is equals to 0 and x minus 2 is equals to 0 when we write x minus 1 is equals to 0 we get the value x is equals to 1 and when we write x minus 2 is equals to 0 we get the values x is equals to 2 now we get the values of x is 1 and 2 so the roots of x square minus 3x plus 2 is equals to 0 are 1 and 